Well, hello, I am Matt Williamson. How's everyone doing? I am tremendous. Hope you're doing the same. Got the draft coming around here pretty soon, not too far. So, my former employer, ESPN.com, they have Matt Bowen there who does very good work, I will say. I, I don't think I overlapped with him, but he does very good work. Former safety, very smart player turned analyst. And he put out a massive article today with draft superlatives. And I am not going to read the whole thing verbatim, but I went and I highlighted a bunch of Steeler related things that I think fit the draft and things they're looking for at different positions, you know, that they're going to be drafting here high. So there's a ton of quarterback stuff, most accurate passer, Jaden Daniels, strongest arm, Joe Milton, quickest release, Caleb Williams. Okay. I mean, just to give you an idea of what these superlatives are. You know, best best touch and timing, Michael Pratt. Maybe the Steelers would entertain him in the middle rounds. I don't know. But I wanted to focus, you know, I avoided the running backs as well. You know, I mean, I don't think they're going to take a, a running back high. You know, Marshawn Lloyd, most sudden rusher from USC. Good player, you know, but I don't think he's going to be a Steeler. So, started with the receivers. And... Xavier Leggett from South Carolina is somebody we've talked about a fair amount. He's 6'1", 221, and Matt calls him his most physical pass catcher. I see it. I mean, his ability to play through contact, physical at the catch point, physical with the football in his hands. I think that's a trait they'd be looking for, and Leggett would fit that really well. This is a player, I, to be flat out honest, I know nothing about. I'm going to study him tonight. He's from North Central College, which frankly could be in any of the 50 states or any country. I have no clue where it is, but it's most versatile pass catcher. And his name's D'Angelo Hardy. And I'll just read it because he's kind of the Debo Samuel type where they just move him all over the place. And I think the Steelers would be interested in that guy. 25 total touchdowns this past season. 25 total touchdowns this past season. 20, two rushing, three passing. I mean, he has 58 receiving scores in in his career. So, this is a late-round pick, but that's a name I want to know more about. Best after the catch also, I think, is a huge part of the new offense is Malachi Corley from Western Kentucky. Probably third-round range, 5'11", 215 pounds, strong, compact, tough. I mean, I think he would fit in really well um, best hands, another player I'm really warming up to. Probably pure slot, but Luke McCaffrey, Christian's younger brother for wide receiver from Rice. They had, they, could, they call him the best hands. Totally agree with that. I mean, he has glue for hands, to be very honest with you. So I think he fits in really well. Another player I adore. I don't know how the Steelers could end up landing him unless they traded back in the first round or heavily up in the first is Georgia's Lad McConkey. They have him as best at getting open. It's a pretty nice category to be best at, especially in this class. And he really is. I mean, he is a superb route runner and setting guys up and all those good things. Best security, ball security as a pass catcher is also Leggett from South Carolina. So they, they, they cite that he had 113 passes during, he caught 113 passes in South Carolina, didn't have a single fumble. Well, he's going to be an after-the-catch physical player, too. You're physical and you have good ball security? Okay. I'm very, very interested. Now, we know Allen Robinson saw a lot of snaps because of his blocking ability. And I know that doesn't ex excite people and certainly doesn't help your fantasy teams and things like that. But I can assure you the new coordinator, Arthur Smith, is going to stress run blocking. And the best run blocking Best perimeter run blocking is how Matt structures it, is USC's Taj Washington. Interesting player. I'm thinking like fifth round. Also a slot, has special teams ability, run blocker, tough, aggressive. I mean, it sure sounds like somebody they might use a fifth round pick on that is kind of the uh, Boykin, you know, those type of guys, you know, that, that also can see the offense. So, I thought those are some interesting receiver ones. We've got a bunch of other positions to talk through here. But first off, Bet Online continues to be your number one source for all your basketball wagering needs, including pro and college hoops throughout the year. With up to the minute odds, stats, and trends, you can follow your favorite team's path to the playoffs with in game live betting. 
contests and all the best player props. Experience the world's best wagering platform anytime from your desktop or your mobile devices. Head to Bet Online today to become part of the team. And remember to use our promo code BELIEVE for 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online, the game starts here. That promo code is BLEAV, by the way. Now, I don't envy Bowen at all for having to cipher and through these offensive tackles. You know, who's the best run blocker? Who's the best pass protector? Who's at the best feet? I mean, they're all, it's such a good class. But I did highlight a few of them. And one or two, one of these guys may end up being a stealer. And he, I think you guys know I love J.C. Latham, Latham from Alabama. Best anchor is Latham. Latham. Uh, I think that is, that he just stones defenders on contact is a quote here. Most explosive is Washington's Troy Fatanu. The way he comes out of his snap, the way he changes directions with suddenness, he is a very explosive athlete for the offensive line. It's one of the reasons I think he will stick a tackle. I know a guy that you guys absolutely adore, and I understand 100% why, is Jackson Powers Johnson, the center from Oregon. Best play demeanor of any O-lineman. Nasty, aggressive, actually looks like he's really having fun out there. He brings a lot of energy. Best at opening running lanes, also Latham from Alabama. Now, this would be, there's a lot of great ones, you know, Fawaga from Oregon State, but Latham is a road grader. Best second level blocker, Graham Barton, center from Duke. He can play other positions, but if the Steelers draft him, it will be to be center. Very good athlete. Gets to the second level, very aggressive blocker. Um, the athleticism certainly shows on the second level as well. Now, I buzzed through a lot of these edge defenders, but there was one that I was like, I need to talk about this guy a little bit. And that's Jalix Hunt, an edge from Houston Christian. Now, trust me, folks, I did not go and watch eight games of Houston Christian tape, but he is best, most pursuit range. He's 6'4", 252 uh, pounds, amazing combine guy, and also would be an immediate rundown on kickoff player. I'm thinking like fourth, fifth round for the Steelers if they were to go with an edge at all in this class, a project that has a lot of upside, Jalix Hunt from Houston Christian. The other edge I like a lot that just kind of looks like a Steeler because he's a little on the short side. And I'm not saying he's Harrison, you know, I mean, no one really is James Harrison, but he, they have had success with Woodley and some of these dudes that aren't 6'3 and super long. And they give best motor to Muhammad Kamara, an edge from Colorado State. Again, I'm thinking like fourth round for this player. Super productive though, too. I mean, he had 30 and a half sacks at Colorado State. I mean, that's a ton. Uh, what is not some of these other ones I highlighted here? <laughs> Just a player I want you to know, it's kind of an odd category, is Logan Lee, a defensive lineman from Iowa. 6'5", 281, really has that Aaron Smith, Kiesel type look to him. They call him the best pass lane swatter. I mean, that's pretty specific of not knocking down passes, but he's got long arms and he gets in the way. And I think that's the type of player they're ap- after, to be honest with you. He, he plays at Iowa, by the way. None of the linebackers I really wanted to talk much about, but there are a lot of secondary players to finish this up. Best recovery speed, you know, when you're beaten, when can you get get back into the play? Clemson's Nate Wiggins. Best closing speed, that's different. That's K, that's Quinion Mitchell from Toledo. Think Richard Sherman in an off position and cover three and clo- you know, speed closing on the football in front of you. That's Mitchell's specialty. Um, best backfield vision is someone that recently visited the Steelers. And I can affirm that because I was down there Saturday and I saw him in person is Rutgers, Max Melton, really good player, really good athlete backfield vision. I mean, they're talking about like on the ball production, um, clue in on the backfield. He recorded eight interceptions and 21 pass breaks ups over his college career. I think there's a, Pretty decent chance that Max Melton is the Steelers' second-round pick, to be honest with you. 
Now, I don't think the Steelers need a safety. That's a want. We talked about that earlier in the week. But coverage versatility is going to be very important in terms of a safety that can play slot. And that's what they give Texas Tech safety, Dadrian Taylor Demerson. I mean, he plays from depth. He can play in the post. He's really good in the slot. Ran a good 40. Yeah, of course, would have special teams abilities too. Most physical in coverage. I mean, and frankly, Enos Rakestraw from Missouri might need to tone it down a little. But I mean, remember, that was a Joey Porter thing too. It could be a little grabby, can be banging people through their routes. But you would love his play demeanor, Rakestraw. Press man technique. Now, that's Kool Aid McKinstry from Alabama. If the Steelers were to trade down to 30, something like that, then I think McKinstry could be in the mix. But really good technician, started as a true freshman in Alabama for Nick Saban. The technique is going to be great, especially as much press man as they played, which is the hardest thing to find. So I think Kool Aid McKinstry is going to be a good pro. Uh, top ball hawk is my favorite defensive back in this draft. That's Cooper Jean, also from Iowa. I mean, he has three pick sixes in his career. I mean, so really good ball hawk, no matter what you do with them. Another guy that's interesting to me that I don't think will get to the second round for the Steelers is Kwame Lassiter from Georgia. And he is best run support from the outside. He's only 186 pounds, but he's nasty and he plays hard and he sticks his face in the fan against the run. Um, not super fast, though. I mean, you would think a, a starting corner for Georgia would probably be a higher degree of athlete. Another guy I adore, you probably are familiar with, you know, is on TV a lot around here, Michigan's corner, Mike Sainstrill, pure slot. Think Mike Hilton, but bigger and better, to be honest with you. I mean, and they call him the best secondary blitzer. I mean, remember how much blitzing they used to do with Hilton out of the slot? Sainstrill, to me, is perfect for that. Uh, also, a big-time team leader, all those good things as well. So, I thought that was fun. I mean, just kind of go through some – specific things maybe the Steelers are looking for in particular and uh, Matt did a lot of the work for us so that was good stuff as well so take care over and out